The use of mobile data has increased tremendously over the last years. We use our smartphones for many other things than the traditional voice call. This trend will continue even more in the future, with Internet of Things or M2M and cloud services demanding online communication continuously. We also need to enhance and enrich the communication experience for the customers to keep pace with the development. IMS, IP Multimedia Subsystem, is the way to upgrade our network to support all the new services. So what is IMS? IMS, or IP Multimedia System, is a, an enabling technology that will allow us to bring a new generation of services to our customers. IMS will allow us to bring new services such as vo voice over LTE, 4G voice, Wi-Fi calling, video calling, and rich communication suite services including instant messaging and group messaging and much more. IMS is a standardized technology in the core network, similar to the mobile switching centers and fixed switch switching centers that we have today. Being standardized, the IMS system will be able to talk to other networks and thereby give us the global reach where we can communicate to all customers in the world that have a telephony device. Also, devices being manufactured today are designed to talk to an IMS system. So when a subscriber gets a device out of the box, it will just function. Uh, we won't need to download any apps or register for any new services. Essentially, IMS is an enabling technology that will allow us to bring the very best communication services to our customers, while at the same time bringing the reliability, the quality of service, the ease of use and the global reach that we are used to today. If I go into each of these services in turn, um, and explain a little about that. So I start with Volta. Volta is voice over 4G. Today when you're on the 4G network and you make a call, the device seeks the 2G, 3G network and executes the call on that network. When we introduce Volta, uh, the device will remain on the 4G network and this will give numerous benefits to our customers. Lightning call setup times is one benefit. Also, the subscriber will be able to remain on the 4G network and take the benefits of the higher speeds. In addition, uh, Volta will support high-definition voice, uh, and it will also be prepared for uh, voice codecs that are even better than today's high-definition voice. Uh, in the future, we will have codecs coming that will support uh, good quality music uh, services. Next up, we have Wi-Fi calling. With Wi-Fi calling, we will take the voice and messaging capability that we will have on the 4G network with Volta and we will extend that into the Wi-Fi network. So when you have the settings in place this will be transparent to you as a user. When you make the call in your Wi-Fi hotspot the call will just simply execute over the uh, Wi-Fi network without you having to make any further choice. This has a big benefit for our customers uh, when it comes to indoor coverage. Uh, for those customers that have little or, or, or poor indoor coverage uh, that, that aren't able to make calls or maybe they can make the call but the voice quality is not very good due to the coverage level, being able to use their Wi-Fi network as an alternative. With Wi-Fi calling, the mobility will also be there. So when you're leaving the home and you're on the phone, uh, you'll be able to get into your car and, and drive off and maintain the call. The call will hand over from your Wi-Fi hotspot to the 4G network and back again if you're arriving at home. In addition to that, we have the opportunity to pro provide that Wi-Fi calling service outside of uh, our home countries. So when subscribers are roaming abroad, they will be able to use our services in foreign countries without the extremely high roaming rates. When it comes to internal benefits, Wi-Fi calling will provide us a more cost-effective solution for handling indoor coverage issues. Today, in some countries, we have femtocell solutions. In other countries, we're deploying relatively expensive small, small cell solutions to handle indoor coverage issues. Wi-Fi calling will be a much more cost-effective option uh, than, than some of the solutions we have today. Next, we have video calling. And I think video calling really demonstrates some of the benefits of IMS in that we can handle different types of media, uh, in a more flexible way, as well as different types of sessions. So, for example, when you're in a voice call where, and you're, you're using the IMS system, 
at the press of a button, you'll be able to upgrade that voice call to a video call. Uh, and possibly in the future, you may be able to transfer that video call from one device to another. So in some years, you could imagine coming home, receiving a voice call from grandma, um, upgrading it to a video call, moving it to the TV so your kids can be involved in the communication. Video calling clearly brings a, an opportunity towards our business subscribers, um, where we could allow them to participate in their video conferences directly from their mobile with a guaranteed quality of service. It will also allow us to introduce new interesting services, for example, See What I See, where you could set up a spontaneous uh, broad, private broadcast with, say, five friends, showing them what a fantastic concert you're at or uh, what a fantastic rooftop bar you found at some city in the world. Uh, if they're, they're available, they can participate in your experience. If not, too bad for them. Next up is Rich Communication Suite, uh, which includes a number of different capabilities, but I'll just pick out a few. One is instant messaging. Instant messaging will give you a real-time feeling of communication while, while you're messaging with someone. So you'll be able to see if somebody's received the message, if they've read it, and if they're responding directly. Also, group messaging. Making that arrangement on a Friday night with five friends on, on where and when to meet can be a little bit cumbersome when you're using SMS. With group messaging, everyone will be able to involve, be involved and contribute to the communication flow. Of course, that exists today uh, with things like WhatsApp and iMessage and so on. But invariably, it's within a small community of people who have that application or have that device type. When we do it as an operator, we will do it so you can reach everybody in the world. In addition, the IMS RCS framework will allow multiple devices. And it will allow us to be able to authenticate devices that don't have SIM cards. So we'll be able to bring our communication technology to your tablet, to your smart TV, or to your PC. This framework will also include uh, an API, a standardized API, application programming interface, which will allow third parties to export our communication capabilities into their applications. So for example, you might have a, a medical application that a doctor could use to talk to you and, and maybe examine you directly from a remote location. Next up is VoIP and SIP trunking. Today we offer our residential customers VoIP services and we offer our corporate uh, customers SIP trunking solutions in order to connect their PBXs to our network. This allows them to simplify their networks. They don't need a connection for telephony and another connection for data. Uh, they can have a single data connection and provide all the services over that. By providing fixed services on the IMS, uh, this allows us to also move into another interesting area, that of convergence. The IMS platform is the standardized fixed network and mobile network platform of the future. It will allow us to converge our fixed and mobile networks and thereby also converge the services. So we can build services once and offer them to our fixed and mobile subscribers. Later on, this will also support the consolidation of our business support systems. So to summarize, IMS supports our strategy in various ways. From a superior network point of view, IMS will allow us to provide advanced services on multiple devices to subscribers wherever they are located. Not only in our own networks, but as long as they have an IP address, they'll be able to use our services. When it comes to competitive operations, we will deploy our IMS system in a harmonized, centralized, and virtualized way, allowing us to produce those services at a much lower cost than we do today. In conclusion, with IMS, we are really setting the foundation for achieving our strategic goals. With IMS, we are truly enhancing the core network and our core business.